Hi guys, it's still Thursday the 4th of March and after I finished taping my last video blog I decided that um, I thought I might include something a little bit special because I mentioned in it that I used to do uh, magic and I had a pack of cards with me in India and I thought to myself why not do a little kind of video blog of uh, some of the stuff that I used to do, some of the stuff I learned, how I did it, maybe you can even copy some of the things I used to do. Uh, so I actually use a the bicycle brand of cards because I find that they're the most Kind of versatile, very supple, always very slippery, they last for quite a long time and there's so much that you can do with them as well and they're very durable as well, very very durable. So I thought why not show off some of my card skills. So let's start with um, something very simple that I learned, that anyone can learn how to do. This is just called the fan and the rotary. The fan, we fan the cards so people can see that you've got a pack of cards, the, all the cards are different and then you just close them like that as well like so. So there you go, very simple. Anyone could do that, and like I said, with the bicycle deck, especially, it's particularly easy because they're so slippery. Uh, there's lots of other stuff that you can do, lots of other different types of types of uh, shuffles and so forth. Like you can do, for example, one-handed cuts. Very simple to do. That's what I call the drop cut. I don't know if that's the official name, but that's just what I call it. And then you also have the slice cut. One more time, if you can see that as well. And you can actually do that with, well, actually I can do this with both hands as well. So you can actually split the deck, put it in either hand, and then do it at the same time in both hands as well. So I'm actually ambidextrous when it comes to doing stuff like this. I can do it, I'm actually right-handed, but I can do it with my left hand. Um, there's also another cut that you can do with both hands that I actually learned from watching this Bud Budweiser commercial. I accidentally taped it one time and then I saw this shuffle in there and so I watched it over and over again until I learned how to do it because it's just one of those things I was so fascinated by it I had to learn how to do it and it's very simple it's just cut, cut, slide very easy to do it looks very impressive cut, cut, slide a lot of people love it they love seeing it it's one of those things as well that you feel saying playing poker with friends they see that shuffle they feel very intimidated, intimidated because they think you know what you're doing or at least that's what my friends think. Uh, it doesn't actually work during the game, you know, it doesn't actually do anything for me when I'm playing, but hey, it looks good anyway, so that's the most important thing. Um, there's lots of different things that you can also do in terms of shuffles. Uh, for example, there's one good thing you can do with the bicycle deck, which is you can blend the cards together and then do the riffle. And you can also even do the other kind of riffle, which actually doesn't shuffle the cards, but it's just a flourish. It just looks pretty cool. Love doing that. And one of my personal favorites as well, again, this is another trick that I saw another magician do. I just watched it and figured out how to do it, and then I managed to do it. So uh, see if you can figure out how I do it, and see if you can do it yourself as well. Very easy to do, very simple, just takes practice, that's all it is. So there you go, that was my little kind of video thing of today, of you know different types of cuts that you can do. That's another one as well I didn't mention earlier. Um, and all of these things, they just take a bit of practice just for a bit of fun, um, it's great for your dexterity of your hands as well, you know, it's just, it just makes your fingers more nimble, it's good fun, people love to see it as well, and it actually is a confidence build, builder as well, so when you learn new skills like this, it helps boost your confidence. So anyway, like I said, grab yourself a bicycle deck of cards, and then have a go, have a little practice, see if you can have a, a, a get stuff like that done as well, like doing the fan and so forth, and just, you never know, you never know, you might even take up a whole new hobby in magic. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, and I thought I would also leave you with one last piece of magic. Oh, not bad, not bad. Needs a bit of practice, but getting there. Have a good one, guys. See you soon.